Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be like a summer glowy look and I just really want to do this because it's officially summer. It's June. It's getting hot here in St. Louis. So I'm really excited to jump in and kind of show you what I like to wear in the summer. It's going to be lightweight, glowy, and it's going to look amazing. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And let's go ahead and just jump right into okay, it. Okay, so my face is already primed. I moisturized and I used the um, Step 1 Smoothing Primer from Makeup Forever, as always. And I also primed my eyelids. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So we are all primed and ready to go. And so we're going to go in with this palette again today. Um, I am going to try to switch up for you. Sorry, I always use this palette. It's my all-time favorite palette, um, as you can see. I've used quite a bit of the shades. So the first thing I'm going to do is just place the cream shade all over my eyelid in the shade Tempra. And this is going to help with the blending of our eyeshadows. If you have like a cream down on your eye and you don't set it, your eyeshadow is gonna look um, kind of splotchy and just uneven. So we're gonna place that down. And then the first shade I'm gonna go in with is Warm taupe it's this shade right here this is going to be our transition shade for the day this is again my mac 224 is my favorite blending brush ever but i'm just going to place that into my crease using winch of wiper motions so i would start on the outer corner and then bring it in to the center and then i kind of deepen the inner corner so so once again i keep most of it on the outer corner and then bring the excess in Next, I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange, which is this one right here. We're just going to blend this out a little bit. Tap off the excess, same brush. You know how I roll here. And this is just going to warm up the crease color and look a little bit more bronzy. Because even though it's called Warm Taupe, it is more of like a cool tone shadow to me. We're going to warm up our crease with Burnt Orange. And the next shadow we're going in with is this gold shimmery shade. This is Primavera. I'm using my finger on this and this is going to go all over the lid. I'm not going to use any liner today. Instead, I'm going to use eyeshadow on a flat shader brush. Another ride or die brush. You know for me, I use this like in every makeup look. This is the MAC 212. It's just a flat shader brush like this. This brush is Bay. We're going to dip into Cypress Umber. It's this one right here. And we're just going to kind of wiggle it along our upper lash line. I'm just going to take like little shader brush kind of like this one and we're gonna smudge this out that's it for the eyes right now we're gonna come back just to do the lower lash line in just a little bit the foundation i'm going in with today is the mac face and body this is in the shade n1 it's a kind of a sheer buildable coverage um, and you'll see that here but this just looks so glowy and it looks like skin and that's why I absolutely love it. So this is what I would recommend using for summer. It's lightweight, it's not going to sweat off, and it looks beautiful. So just give it a shake. Shake it, sh shake it, shake it, <laughs> shake it like a polar boy picks. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, sorry y'all. As you can see, I'm pretty pale. So we'll see if this actually like matches me. It should. I'm just going to drip it on my face, honestly. like. Oh, look how cool. If it looks a little different, uh, I am sitting on the floor. So you can tell the consistency here is super um, thin. And I'm taking a kabuki brush, a dirty one as usual. And we're going to just use circular motions. And you guys can see the coverage like it's not full coverage, but it gives you a beautiful look. And I do have a lot of redness. Um, you could spot conceal if you want, but I'm not going for a super like flawless look with this. For concealer today, I'm going in with MAC. Oh gosh, what was, what is this? Select Cover Up Cache 
whatever select cover up and this is in the shade nc20 i'm just going to put this like on my finger it's a little squeezy tube actually it's going to go on the back of my hand and as you can see i have some dark circles so i'm just going to use my finger and kind of put this in a triangle under my eye this is also going to help cover up some of the redness that wasn't covered up with the face and body So we're gonna call that good. Same flat top kabuki brush that we're gonna use to blend this out. And then this time we're just going to bounce or dab. Sorry, that was unnecessary. I really like this concealer because this again is a, it's like a medium coverage concealer. It's very um, skin-like and that's what I like about it. Okay, for contouring, as always, we're going in with the Chubby Stick by Clinique, and this is going in our contour areas. If you don't know where that is, it's from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth, right about to the end of your eye. So that's where it goes. This is a neutral shade, and I can do like a whole video concentrated on like contouring if you'd like, but the reason I like to use a neutral shade for this is because the pink undertone is too pink for a contour. The yellow undertones are going to be way too yellow for a contour. So the neutral is going to give you more of like a shadow or similar to like a bronze look. And once again, I'm using the same Kabuki brush and we're just going to use circular motions to buff this out. And then I'm just going to go on with some of the NYX Wonder Stick just to deepen it up because I am extra a little underneath the lip just to kind of contour your lip and then i'm using the highlighting part right here on the tops of my cheeks in like a c and you want to put this where it would naturally hit you so on your nose and your lip for this one i'm going to use a mac oh gosh a mac 130 it's just a duo fiber blending brush um this has been a lifesaver let me tell you what love this brush so circular motions again, just to buff this out. And you don't really want to bring it past the contour area just because it can start to look muddy. And I'm just going to lightly blend this over that highlight that we put down. And this is just a cream um, based highlight. So we are going to go over it and make it more intense. Okay, so as you can see, it's like a medium coverage. I still have some blemishes poking through and that's fine. Um, so for setting the face, I'm going with Mac Mineral. Min <laughs> setting the face today, I'm going with Mac Mineralized Skin Finish and Light. Clearly, I have hit pan. I need a new one. I know I'm working on it, but this is what we're going to use today. And I'm using this um, tulip brush. This is also by Mac. It's a 133, and I'm just using to swirl around to the parts with pigment in them and we're setting the face and the reason I'm using this this looks like skin seriously this powder is so beautiful and it doesn't really have like a lot of coverage it just sets the face and make your skin look like so lifelike if that makes sense So for bronzer today, I'm using my du my big duo fiber brush from Icing, and I'm going to dip into Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I'm using this um, real cheeky party because I don't have the single. It's right here. Um, so that's what I'm dipping into with this just a few times. I need to try the Hoola Light, and I'm bronzing the face with this forgot how much I liked hula. So for me, sometimes hula can be a little too intense um, because I'm so pale, but if I put too, I need to be careful with hula because if I put too much on, it starts to look orange. I think I just have like a weird skin tone. I'm not really contouring with this. I'm just putting it everywhere on my face and down my neck as you can see because my neck is pale. Pale af and we're going to make him cute. Him, her, whatever.
And for blush today, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Blush. This is in Luminoso. This is so, so pretty. Just so glowy and peachy and perfect for summer. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to use like a little angled brush. This is no brand. I got it from Amazon. Like my first makeup brushes ever that I got were from Amazon. So I'm just going to like dip in twice because this is pigmented. Tap off the excess. And just kind of put it on the apples of your cheeks. See how pretty it is? It just gives you like a little flush. And I know guys, like I know I'm wearing blush. I hate blush, but I'm doing it for you. Going back in with the blending brush or the duo fiber, just to kind of dust it away. Not dust it away, but blend it in a little bit better. That is the face and for highlight today, we are going to do, this is the NYX highlighter. It's a NYX illuminator is what it says in the shade ritualistic so i really like this one because this is i'm using this one today over my wet and wild because this one is more of like a golden a golden glow to it if you can see it's more gold and the other one is more pink so we're gonna go with gold today i'm gonna start i'm gonna use this real text te oh, i can't talk today y'all this is the real techniques contour brush. Sometimes I use it for contour, sometimes I use it for highlighting. Do I ever clean it? Nah, nah, nah. So going in in the highlighting points. I'm kind of doing it on the high points of my cheeks and a little bit like on my temples. And I'm just going hand with the glow because why not, right? And we are almost done with this. This is kind of how it looks so far. Um, I'm going to go back in for the under eyes now. This is not creasing. It's just my eye. I have really bad um, creases under my eyes. So going at, back in with ABH and I'm going to take burnt orange right here. Just on like a small shader brush. This is a MAC 213. And I'm going to buff this underneath the eye and I'm going to connect it right here just to give us that cute oh wrong one oh that's gonna be bright orange not that one take this blending brush again, dip it a, just a tiny, tiny bit into burnt orange, like tiny bit. And this is when we're going to kind of wing out the eyeshadow. Just kind of give us a little winged smoky look here. We're going to go in with warm taupe um, and we're gonna push that up against the lash line. Just kind of duping out there. We're just taking the warm taupe. That's it. And going in with mascara, which of course I don't have. So hang on one second. Oh, sorry, I'm back. And of course we're going in with the Rimmel Scandalized Flex for this. My all-time favorite mascara. The wand is like actual. Oh, an eyelash. It's like actual bristles, and I love that. So I'm not using false eyelashes today, just because my eyelashes are so long and i can get them where i want to be and this is a summer look so i'm not going to add any lashes for this but if you want to get your eyes just kind of like that almond look when you're doing mascara just pull your eyelashes kind of in a diagonal instead of going straight up you want to go like in a diagonal kind of sideways it's going to pull your eye your eyelashes that way And once again, we're going to pull up to like the corner of your eyebrow when you're doing your lashes for this. I, it never fails. I always get mascara right there. But do I ever fix it? No. What is the point of fixing it? Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. And one last thing for lips today. We're going to do a gloss. Uh, like 
duh i know i love my my glouses sorry i'm digging in here so we're going to use the benefit hula gloss and i love this stuff it's so pretty it's just like a shimmery clear gloss so i'm gonna put this on our lips today voila there you have it i just love like summer you know like fourth of july it's just so fun besides the bees and the insects can't stand those but everything other than that is so great so yeah that completes my look today thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this leave a comment of your favorite summer activity i would love to hear what y'all do let's just cue into the uh, dramatic posing for the outro bye guys